package showed up at my door today. I was expecting one, but when I got it, I was like, what? Can the Mavic 3 really be in this little box? I mean, come on, man. It's so small. Don't say it. Don't say it. That's what... Don't say it. Stick around and find out what's inside. Okay, guys, here we go. them better because you know they feel better in your hands that controller right there there it is we've seen that before what else we got here cable got a few things in here Little extra joysticks right there. I'll open them. Little joysticks. Okay. And a couple cables. For your phone, USB C, the USB mini, micro USB C, to USB C. And USB A to USB C. Right there. Right there. Here's the other two. Oh, uh, let's see. We got here charger. I don't know if you could see this, but the inside of the USB C connection is orange. Don't know what that indicates yet, but I will shortly. What else is here? Just some pamphlets. Detailed information about the law. I fought the law. And I won. 
That's a, can't read that one. Safety guidelines. Little pamphlet of safety guidelines. And a quick start guide. Here we go. That's what we want to see, right? Quick start. Quick start guide. Go back here, some more. Alrighty. And there's some a couple extra props under there. See them. Couple props. And I think that's it. Besides this guy. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. What we got? What we got going on here, fellas? Ah. Mavic 3 all bound up. There it is. That's what she looks like all bound up there. Side. Can't really see anything, but there it is. There it says right there. Mavic 3. So let's get this undone here, folks. Little clip and clip and like magnet. Feels like a magnet right there. Check that out. Right here. Clip magnet. Pretty cool. Take it off. Let's go here. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Kind of way not normal for a Mavic, but you know, it is what it is. Check it out. Hold that. Hold that. Pull these down. This one down. There it is. Big blades, big props. Oh yeah. Nice. So there we go, Mavic 3, Mavic 3 come to my drug chronicles baby, check it out, check it out, side, where's that camera? Bring that camera around there, you can get a look at that. Look at that camera right there. Nice. Bottom. Top, back, have a nice good look around there. There it is. And there you have it guys, the Mavic 3. Okay guys, we're going to do a quick overview of the controller, the drone, and possibly this little thing, what it's for, you know, let it go down here, strap, I don't know. So we're going to go over this stuff, uh, we're going to start off with the controller. So check it out here. Uh, first off, you got your power button right here. 
Uh, press it once, gives you the battery status, how much battery you got there. Press release, press and hold, will turn, turn it on. In the middle you have your uh, flight mode. Over to the left is SIN. SIN mode, in the middle is normal, and to the right is sport mode. Uh, here you have your return to home or pause flight button. As long as you have uh, vision systems or GNSS going, uh, when you press this once, it'll it'll stop the drone in flight and hover. Um, you press and hold this, and it'll re start to return to home. Uh, and then if you press it again, it'll cancel return to home. Now this little button up here is a programmable button. Uh, you can use it to turn off and on the auxiliary lights on the bottom of the aircraft. Um, press it twice to recenter the gimbal or tilt the gimbal downward. Now this is the default settings and you can change those in the uh, DJI Fly app. Now over here is your camera modes button. Uh, you press it to switch between photos and videos. Uh, control sticks, joystick, I like to call them joysticks, uh, but yeah, control sticks obviously. Uh, let's turn around back here. Here you have your uh, shutter. Take a photo or start and stop video. Over here you got your gimbal control, turn, turn your gimbal up and down, camera up and down. Um, here we have our antennas up top here. These are antennas in here. And it's also for holding your smartphone as you know a lot of you seen but if anyone's new that's what the what this is for too. It holds your smartphone. And then down inside here is your cable. Uh, it comes pre-installed, if you want to call it that, with your iOS cable. So that's that's pretty cool. And then, you know, if you have an Android, you switch it out with the other cables that came with it. Nice. Put that down in there. That. Um, on the bottom here we got holders for extra little joysticks here and then your USB-C charging port check it out, I don't know if we get close here can tell if not mm -hmm. it's pretty nice these are pretty nice and that's pretty much it for this remote controller. All right, so let's take a look at this drone now. All right, let's open it up first. Open up the front arms and then pull down the rear arms. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, so let's take a look. Let's start on the bottom here. So right here, you have auxiliary lights, two LED lights, kind of like landing lights. Uh, you can turn them on and off uh, when you like to. Uh, here you have your downward vision system. And here you have infrared sensing system here. A couple rubber feet here. Now this looks like a heat sink or heat dissipation, you know, but it's not, not it's just plastic so I don't, I don't think that's I don't think that's anything just just the way they did it um, on the back you have your battery here and you have your indicators for how much battery power you got now you press the uh, button the power button once it'll show you how much press release press and hold and it'll turn on. Now this one is in hibernation mode so there is 
There is nothing there right now. Um, under this cover here, you have your USB charging port and micro SD card slot in there. It looks like it might be a little tricky to get that card in and out, but we'll see. Um, here you have, you see these right here? Both of these are uh, your vi more vision systems here. And for the rear, if you want to call it, the rear omnidirectional. And then here's on the top here, you have your sensors for your top. And there's, this does seem like it might be a, this is a heat sink right there. There's a couple little vents on the sides here. I don't know if you could see those. A couple little vents right there. A uh, little vent on the front right there. Um, also here on the front, you have your front on the directional vision system here. Um, motors and props. And here in these landing gear, these legs, there are also antennas in there. Now here's uh, your front LED lights. And then here are your LED status, aircraft status lights. Um, there's really nothing anywhere else. Uh, battery, you know, squeeze in the sides right there. Pull the battery out. Slide it back in. The clip. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And I think now we're to the camera. So the reason this thing was so expensive is because of this right here. This camera is two cameras. Top camera is a telephoto camera and the bottom camera is Hasselblad with the Micro Four Thirds sensor which should be pretty pretty nice. So I don't know if this will focus too good. So check it out. Try to. Yes, no, maybe. If it doesn't, we won't use it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, now for the final uh, piece of it. Let's go ahead and fold these up. Fold it back, fold this down. All right. Now we'll get this, yeah. Don't, uh, <laughs> whatever. All right, let's take it here. Let's try to get this on this camera here. Flop it in, line that camera up, get the legs under there, put it on, pull this back. Switch this on around here, clip, and there, it's pretty much done. Pretty good, pretty pretty easy to get on and off. Um, but it's just, yeah, it's, I don't know. I don't know if I like it yet. Um, it's uh, different. But, again, easy to get on, easy to get off. All right, so, what do I think? Well, again, the, the hardware is top-notch. The remote controllers, they're, it's the same remote control as the other one. They're, they're very good. Um, the drone itself, build quality, really nice. As always. Um, but, a couple things. One's... A small stupid thing. 
The other is a little bit bigger, but so I have to say I was a little disappointed, maybe, uh, when you opened when I opened the box, because uh, it the presentation of the drone, a drone that's this expensive, just wasn't there. I mean, the FPV drone looked way cooler when you opened it. Um, so the box, I guess I was expecting some, you know, black boxes inside, black covers, you know, something really cool, but it wasn't there. And then it, it's like, you know, you're, and again, that doesn't mean anything. The drone is what it is. It's gonna do what you want it to do, and it's gonna do it really well. I'm just saying. The presentation, the outside presentation is normal, same. But the inside was just kind of blah for an expensive drone. So I didn't like that. That's a that's a downer. DJI. To me, they dropped the ball on the presentation uh, of, of the drone in the package. Um, the other thing is, I'll say it again, come on, man. DJI puts a one terabyte uh, internal storage in the SIN mode. And, you know, it doesn't, it's there, that's not, to put that in here or even a 500 gig internal storage there's hardly any cost to that at all so they're, they're holding back again uh, you know that that kind of just jacks me off if you want to call it that I don't know uh, they, they should have they should have did something uh, for that um, other than that you know me personally the Apple Pro Res I couldn't I couldn't care less I'm not that into that stuff <laughs> uh, I like good drones I like good video and photos I don't need to get into all that other stuff so yeah I'm sure you probably hear other people saying man the sin package 5,000 come on come on man that's just way overboard um, but anyway uh, I would have liked to seen the controller, uh, the the better controller, but uh, you know those are a little expensive. Um, anyway, uh, I am real excited about this drone though. Um, I've been waiting for something like this for a while, and uh, we're gonna put it to the test. We're gonna see how good it does for the average Joe, man, because. Right out of the box, straight uh, auto, everything. We're going to test it out because, you know, there's a lot of people out there that don't want to do post production and uh, all kind of, you know, color grading and all that. I mean, that's great, you know, but. Some people just don't want to do that, and we're going to see how good this is, just like it is. So, stay tuned for that. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you like what you see here and you like the things I'm talking about, let me know by hitting that like button down below and subscribe to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching. Later.